the trial program will stretch over a couple of phases over the next two years. So in the initial phase it will include trials of existing production vehicles that have some partial automation capability. And then in the later phases of the trials, we'll be working our way up to trials of more highly automated vehicles. We anticipate that we could see vehicles on our road with self-driving capability by 2020. And so there really is a need for us to prepare for their introduction now. So I think CAVs will impact Transurban's business uh, in the long term very positively, as well as society in, in general. Um, so for, for Transurban's business, the uh, automated features of, of the CAVs will really help with safety. The vehicles we've got here for this trial will contribute to road safety in the future. These car companies have been working on this technology for many years. These trials are really important to BMW because one of the things about Australia is that we have such a large and vast array of differing roads. The technology which is here with Transurban in one of the largest trials and it's going to give real world experience to inform us as a manufacturer about some of the challenges we face. This trial is one of the largest in the country we've been involved in. We've got so many more manufacturers and a large section of roads, so it's actually uh, very worthwhile from our point of view. These vehicles exist on the road today. We have trained professional drivers out there running these trials. The infrastructure is very important in that the cars need good line markings on the road to be able to follow. The speed sign technology that the cars require that the gantries be in specific spots, heights from the side of the road. If the car does something unusual or unexpected, we'll be able to record that through the iPad app that we've developed specifically for that purpose. We're very excited about this app by Transurban that's going to capture all of the observations that are captured on our network digitally. We want to learn how we need to prepare uh, our roads, how these vehicles will interact with our roads, what we need to do differently in order to change the way that we design, operate and maintain our roads. But the other thing that we want to do is explore trials of more highly automated vehicles. So we've got a few things coming up with highly automated passenger vehicles, uh, highly automated trucks, and also some infrastructure to vehicle communications in order to make vehicles more aware of the environment in which they're driving.